Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music productivity and health. In today's video I want to talk about bowing, especially also going on stage and off stage. I think that's a really important topic but nobody is really talking about it. There was this one study in Germany with the youth competition Jugend Musiziert, um, which is every year. And they did this one study with violinists where they showed professors only the candidates going on stage and going off stage without playing. And it was pretty easy for the professors to judge them. And they were quite right in judging without listening to them, just to see how they walk on stage and how they walk off stage, how well they performed. I think there is no right and no wrong way to do it. There's a tradition to do it. And I think everybody has to figure out their own way to go on and off stage. But there are some guidelines and also some tips I discovered over the years I want to share with you. The best thing to learn how to go on stage and how to bow is actually to analyze other musicians. That's what I've done um, in the past so far. And there were some things I recognized that everybody is doing. And there were some things that I especially liked or disliked. And that's what we are doing right now. I picked a few performances from some pianists, violinists, very famous people. And we're just going to look at them. And I'm just commenting what I like and what I don't really like about them and I'm just saying these people are phenomenal musicians I'm just judging this on my completely own opinion I'm not judging their playing I'm just saying something about their walk and their bowing so firstly, we have Katja Bunyatashvili, which is an amazing pianist. Um, as you can see when she's coming on stage, fantastic dress. She looks quite sad, actually. So I like, the, I like when people are having this positive um, face expression on their um, face, that they look like they really want to be on stage there. But of course, not everybody is in the mood to have always this expression. So she is touching the piano, which I really like. So she's having contact with the piano. I know that feeling. Maybe violinists or flutists or somebody else who is always having his instrument in his hands can't really relate. But pianists and also harpists, they have their instrument on stage before they walk on stage. So they have nothing in their hands and it's quite calming to have their hands on the instrument then again. And then she's bowing. And what I don't really like about her bowing is that she's not putting her head down completely. So she's having a little bit of her face in the direction of the audience, which looks not that nice. She's doing later another bow where she is doing a fantastic bow, really, really good. Um, but this time I am not quite happy with that. So then I picked um, Sarah Alice Ott. She's also a fantastic uh, musician and as you can see she's also walking quite fast on stage and then she's giving hands and before she's bowing she's just standing and looking at the audience and then she's bowing. So common mistakes with bowing, which I saw in the past or which I did myself was firstly, not to stop and look at the audience. You just go and go into the bowing, which looks quite weird. Second common mistake, um, the position of your hands. You can have your hands on your chest just to say a little thank you or to cover up your breasts. You can just have them hanging outside of your body. You can also have them folded in your lap. That's what most of the people are doing. Um, just consider the length of your arms when you're doing that. I was recently in a concert at the Barbican here in London and the pianist did this folded hand thing and every time he bowed it looked like that he has to pee. Please consider the length because when your arms are always in that private area it's not that nice. Now we are going to have a look at Maria Duenas. I hope I pronounce her name right. She is a fantastic violinist and she was the winner of the last Menuhin competition I think. I picked this video because she is holding her dress 
um, while walking on stage and that's also one tip if you have a dress on where walking is quite hard um, consider just to hold it that you can walk quite nicely on stage which she is doing here She's also doing this little thank you chest thing, which I find quite cute. Then we have Augustine Hadelich, also an amazing musician. And I also really, really like his stage appearance. So he is going very fast on stage. He's shaking hands with the concert master. And then he is stopping and looking at the audience, which I find fantastic. He's enjoying the applause and he's saying, oh, I'm so happy that you are here. And then he is bowing. Nice. After the concert, he is bowing, he's saying thank you to the conductor, he's saying thank you to the concert master, um, and he is bowing, he's enjoying the applause, which I like so much, that he's taking his time looking at the audience. And then I quite like this hand-holding thing from the conductor and him, I think that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, perfect. Then let's have a look at Juja Wang. Unfortunately, we can't see her going on stage, but we can see her going off stage and she's having a beautiful final. And then she's jumping off the chair, which I really like, but then she's bowing and it's so fast. And then she's running off stage so fast. Um, I think she could take a little bit more time. It would be more appealing. So after having analyzed so many performances, I have my own step-to-step -step guide now. So when walking on stage, I want to walk really fast. I have to consider my dress, of course, and my shoes, um, that I don't fall, of course. And then when I'm coming at my playing position, I want to stand there and look at the audience first. I want to smile, I want to have this positive attitude, and then I want to bow. Um, preferably, I like this little gesture with the hand on the chest, but of course it's up to you. Then I want to bow, I will take my time there, of course. And then I'm going to sit on my instrument. And after I played, I'm also going to get up to look first at the audience, smile and then bow and then walk off stage. Even if you played really terrible or awful and you're not happy with the thing that you played, don't show it to the audience. Always smile, show the gratitude that they spent their time with you. Smile at them, bow in your time and everything will be fine. If you have any final thoughts or suggestions, please write them in the comments. I'm happy to read them. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet that you don't miss any videos and I see you in my next video. Bye!